Hey Saints, just thought I'd do something a little out of the ordinary here. Um, I happened across this YouTube video here. This guy is Scott Boring, I guess was his name. Um, he <laughs> was on uh, the web version of Google Mars uh, map. And he was looking, if you don't have your, uh, if you're doing this on a phone or something, this isn't going to work too good, but if you're on a PC, Put this into HD mode and check this out. Um, so he's on Mars and he found an area in Mars. And I don't know how big this area is with the craters um, and with uh, these hills and ravines. And there's structures all inside. I mean, they're obvious structures. This isn't, um, I don't know, <laughs> image artifacts or anything. And... I was pretty curious about this and so he includes the link to Google Mars and I went to it and uh, you know here's the stuff I found now this I'm in different ravines and he was in but it's all along uh, in these ravines there's buildings and structures I mean all the way through here you look at all this stuff I mean it's crazy and so I just thought I'd point this out, and I guess the thing it brings to mind is, you know, we know in the Bible that God's going to send a strong delusion so that they may believe the lie. Well, I mean, this is, I'm sure there's thousands of structures here. I have only spent about 10 minutes gliding around, but I found multiple, multiple areas already in Google Mars where when you uh, go down into it, you see these structures and it, what's interesting is they seem to be all off on the edge of ravines so i i don't know if that has something to do with uh sun exposure or heat exposure or something on the surface of mars but they seem to be kind of right on the edge you know maybe where the shadow lines are um, so i don't know what that tells us but you can just see here they're they're in the ravines and they're along the edges, um, but they're clearly there. <laughs> and so I just thought I'd pass this along. Um, the, the other thing that came to mind, I guess, is we know that, uh, that there's been all sorts of rumors about uh, hybriding going on, um, and people point back to it as in the days of Noah. And yet you sort of wonder, okay, there's been rumors different military bases have labs where they've been experimenting with hybriding. But if you look at the, the literally, I'm sure it's thousands of structures here on Mars, it wouldn't take rocket science to uh, uh, speculate <laughs> that if there was a, a breeding program for half-breed, you know, humans or whatever that would come and visit earth as part of the strong delusion you could see how this could happen i mean there's so many structures up here that it just seems like um, you know it'd be very plausible so i thought that was neat clearly something um, is in the offing let's say unless all these structures are uh you know, uninhabited, which I guess if they're all here, I would, I would doubt they're totally uninhabited, but I challenge you to go, I'll put the link down below. And one thing you'll notice is when you're doing this, um, let me just see if I can bring up. Yeah. You get, see this blank gray screen. Now, if you zoom out, it shows you the picture again. So, you know, all I was doing, he found found them along a rim of a crater like this one. I don't know if this crater has them, but yeah, it looks like it does. See this structure all in here? And then that's what happens on Google's Mars mapping tool is it blanks out after a second or two. And so what you do is you just zoom in quick and then you hit shift print screen and grab a screen capture of the image and then you can stare at it in uh, you know, whatever your favorite image tool is. I just put them in paint. So that's a little tip. If you want to go come check these out for yourself, uh, it's pretty cool. When you go to the link and I'll 
I'll plop this one below. He had another one that was off to the side a little bit more, but I mean, you can surf through anywhere in here and you're going to see these things. Make sure you click on infrared for the view. Otherwise, you end up with, uh, yeah, something that's not quite intelligible. But in infrared mode, you can drill right in and see these things sitting in there. So um, hope that's uh, interesting for you guys. Talk to you later.